Welcome to Rolls-Royce University Technology Center in manufacturing and on-wing technology. For more than 20 years, University of Nottingham had a special relationship with Rolls-Royce. We have been working with Rolls-Royce on four core technologies. One is conventional and non-conventional machining of nickel and titanium-based superalloys. We have done a project with Rolls-Royce, uh, which they developed a new super alloys, which can be used for the air engine. And uh, we are doing the research of the manufacturing of these super alloys to in terms of the machinability and the surface integrity of these materials. Another strand of activity is tooling and fixturing systems. You can buy a very expensive machine tool, but if you don't have a good fixture which locates and position the part relatively to the end effector, the, basically the machine tool will not be as efficient as you believe. The idea is that I can find a way on which I can load it into a machine tool in such a way that is repeatable and that I can maintain throughout of the manufacturing process, regardless of the manufacturing loads, let them be thermal, let them be mechanical, and so on. I have two types of components. The first one here is the locator star. Each one of these fingers made in one of the dating points on the airfoil. I have my clamping system, which inflates and actually prevents the part from moving when it's in position and throughout of the whole manufacturing process. That way I can ensure that every single blade that I do will be exactly or as close to possible as the same as the previous one. Something that we are currently working on is I have the fixture fundamental studies, I have the sensing fundamentals as well, but now I want to integrate them together to make the fixture an alive robot that can actually correct the manufacturing processes and the manufacturing errors throughout the whole of the process immediately without having to remove the part. Third, we are developing cutting-edge robotic systems, bespoke robots like snake arms, hexapod, walking hexapod, all these intricate robotic systems which can deliver on-platform technologies. We are working on developing technology for repairing in the combustors, so uh, this has never been done before. We had a project with Rolls-Royce and another company called uh, Metallization. The title of the project uh, it is called Flare, Flame Spring Repair of Thermal Coating in Engine Combustor. So in that project, we develop two continuous robots. They can go into the combustor through a very tiny inspection hole. And the two robots working together can cover 100% of the area in the combustor. The one carry a miniaturized flame spray gun, and the other one carry uh, cameras, inspection tools, and also ignition systems. The fourth strand of our activity, and we just uh, launched it, is Intelligent Machine. With such expertise to develop a complex robotic systems to deliver inside the engine uh, and effectors, yes, without taking them off the wing, we translated that experience into the topic of intelligent machines, which is a combination of sensing, actuation, it's a mechatronic system, which uh, allows better production systems for Rolls-Royce. The bore blending robot access is through a very small inspection hole and to do this we developed a very small head that uses a combination of rotating, linear and flexible stages and it has a very high speed turbine to remove material from the affected area. This robot was developed to be remote controlled and the idea is that you can control it from headquarters without having to fly the expert technician out to the site anywhere in the world. And that can reduce the time taken to address the repair from several days to a couple of hours. With uh, such outstanding facilities in, and knowledge in manufacturing technology, field tooling and fixturing, specialist robotics and intelligent machine, we welcome collaboration with specialists around the world and invite talented researchers to join our team.